Military women are among more than 400 who've been honoured at a special event celebrating Women of the Year. Guests were handpicked for the special lunch to mark their extraordinary achievements. Earlier I spoke to two of them, Commander Sarah West and Flight Lieutenant Rachel Cadman, who began by telling me what it was like to be there. Gosh, it was such a huge honour to go. Like We went down and there was just all these hundreds of women that had all got amazingly inspirational stories and you go down and listen to everything and we, I think we both spent time wanting just to speak to everyone in the room because they all had brilliant stories to tell. Yeah, it was a huge honour. And you were chosen because you are the first woman to have completed the Enduro Man Arch to Arc. Um, comp it's not a competition, but it's Triathlon, endurance. Endurance yeah. event, yeah. Um, how was that and how on earth did you manage to do it? It was amazing. Like I was so excited to be part of that and it had taken probably two years really in the training towards it. So actually the completion of the event was just sort of the tip of the iceberg really because all of their hard work had been done in the 18 months sort of leading up to it so actually to finish and the relief in finishing and that I'd managed to achieve it was just an amazing feeling. And in itself um, you, you've sort of been a trailblazer because women have done it since haven't they? Very few people have completed it. They have, there's been 11 people who completed it in total and it took 10 years for the first woman to complete it which was myself and then there's been two other women since then so yes we've sort of set the path for going forward now I think. Commander Sarah West, uh, the first commander of a Royal Navy ship of this kind that's a woman. Um, how's the job going? Uh, the job is, is brilliant, everything I hoped it would be. I've got a great ship's company and a great programme for the ship ahead of us. And what are you doing at the moment exactly? What's happening with the ship? Um, we're just emerging from refit in Rosyth, so in five weeks' time we'll go to sea for the first time. So at the moment the focus is very much on preparing the ship and training the people ready to, uh, to go to sea. Is it something you've always wanted to do, to command your own ship? Um, joining, joining the Navy, yes, you want to go to sea and you want to command. So um, I was very lucky to command um, mine hunters for almost three years. Uh, and then I just wanted to go on to uh, bigger and better things. And um, long-term, ambition-wise, first sea lady? Well, it will really <laughs> depend how uh, how this job goes. But, uh, but yeah, as with most people in their careers, I'm looking to go further. Uh, Flight Lieutenant Cadman, um, who inspires you within the RAF when you were starting out? Mm. Who was it you looked up to? Well, I think one of the things I've been most fortunate to have um, is, as a sort of mentor, I guess, is my old boss at the Air Cadet Organisation was Air Commodore Cooper, who actually attended the lunch yesterday um, as she was the first female to reach the rank of Air Commodore in the RAF. To, so to have someone at that so early in my career within my chain of command is obviously brilliant in terms of a mentor because I can see what women can achieve now going forward within the RAF. Do you think it's important to have uh, uh, women role models within the armed for forces? Um, it's very flattering to be called a role model, but I think it is important that people can see that there is no glass ceiling uh, and gender isn't an issue. And the next thing that's happening um, is the first woman in submarines um, happening yes. next year. Yes, that will be happening next year. Yes. And, and how do you think that's all going to work out? Uh, I think it'll work out brilliantly. Another and first. Perhaps next year, a submariner will be uh, the woman of the year. Yes, let's hope so. <laughs> and and what, what do you plan to do next? I mean, you, you've done in your athletic career, you're mm. obviously completely... Um, achieving and um, what's your next ambitions so I wanted to scale back the distance a little bit um, and I'm going to revert into Ironman and half Ironman distance events and I'll be looking to qualify for the age group uh, long course world championships in June uh, next year in Spain so that's where I'm really looking to go I'd love to get a GB vest at some point and if you had a message to women within the armed forces now uh, what kind of message would you like to give from your experience well I think we were there yesterday to celebrate the women in the armed forces that there's women throughout the armed forces doing very challenging and valuable jobs so we were really there just um, being there on their behalf so Commander I say uh, what we need to do is look to the future of doing more and bigger things. Commander Sarah West, Flight Lieutenant Rachel Cadman, thank you very much for your time and congratulations. Thank, thank you, you very much. much.